Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just gonna do a quick overview of my Glock 43 and basically how I like to carry it and uh, my accessories I have for it. So let's get right to it. So uh, this is hot coming out of my carry system. Um, this is usually how I carry it. This is a multi holsters holster. Um, it has really good retention and uh, pretty comfortable to carry. It has a clip. So at first I was a little hesitant about having a clip because uh, you know a lot of times it could come out. You don't want to um, draw your weapon and then you pull it out with the holster. But uh, it actually has really good retention and if you notice it's angled in such a way that it snags your belt pretty good. So if you're carrying a, I usually carry actually an ordinary belt but if you carry obviously a weapons belt then you're definitely going to be okay. But with my everyday belt it uh, works out pretty good. And I'll show you guys in a second pretty much how I like to carry it on me and how it looks, how it prints and whatnot. So um, also I have the Terran Tactical Base Plates. These I really like to carry, uh, makes a really big difference for me. You got those uh, extra two uh, rounds, but not only that, more importantly is I get a better purchase on my gun. So if you notice that it gives you a lot of extra space for carrying your weapon, so I get to get a full grip on my weapon because of that. Um, so for me it makes a really big difference, I really like it guys, for that reason alone. Now also I have a spare mag, also by multi holsters, I have the um, mag carrier and then the Terran Tactical base plate. I don't like to have the plus two Terran Tactical base plate for the spare mag because it just makes it a little bit big for me, a little bit uncomfortable. It's already, you know, enough that I'm carrying a spare mag I think. So, um, so just one extra, you know, it's pretty good for me, it gets the job done. I also have here a uh, DeSantis holster. I picked this one up on Amazon. And I usually, I bought this one originally when I was carrying at six o'clock. Now I tend to carry more appendix. I find it a lot more advantageous. So, um, so definitely uh, I would advocate for the appendix carry now. But from when I did carry at six o'clock, you know, this is the one I use. And um, it works okay, but I can't say I like it too much. Main reason being that it doesn't have any retention. So if you notice the Glock 43 with the multi holster, definitely have to put some force to pull it out. But it doesn't. It, but it does snag on the belt here. So you know your holster definitely remains in the belt. So for me, it's perfect. You know, I I could definitely get an easy draw, but it's a good amount of retention. You know, you could run with this thing. You know, you could do whatever you want. It's not going anywhere. On the other hand, with the Santis, it just, the gun just slips right out. So any odd movement go to the bathroom or something that thing is falling out so you got to be really careful uh, there's definitely no uh, retention here so that's the reason I'm not a huge fan and then obviously with uh, multi holsters what I like about it one feature is that you could definitely um, increase the retention and just like screw it tighter screw it looser so works pretty good for me I've been using them for about two years and uh, I really like it um, aside from that, uh, Glock 43 itself, um, I would say I carry usually like 60, 70% of the time. That's my usual right now. Sometimes I'll carry Glock 19. Unfortunately, uh, two of my Glock 19s are out at uh, Agency Arms right now, getting done. And uh, I'll show you guys that as, as soon as they get back. It's a eight to 10 week uh, waiting period. And then, um, and then other times I'll carry my Ruger LCP. That's pretty much my other uh, go-to option. Uh, I don't like to carry too often. I don't like to be underpowered. I like to carry at least a nine millimeter usually. But um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to uh, stay armed. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Basically, I just use that, you know, if I'm out on the boat or out in basketball shorts, maybe walking the dogs or something simple like that. But for the most part, I like my Glock 43. And if not, you know, I'll carry my Glock 19 if I can. And uh, definitely advocate for appendix carry. You definitely get better control of your weapon. And uh, you have it more accessible uh, if you're driving or you're in a seated position or wherever you are. It's just much easier to get to. And um, it's a little bit more difficult to conceal because of the natural arch of your back. You know, at six o'clock, it tends to conceal pretty well. But uh, you definitely can make it work. And I'll just show you guys real quick the way I like to do it. So, Usually I'll carry it right here, if you notice, and then spare mag if I'm going to run it, which I usually do. I'd like to have it off to the side, kind of like when you're training, so you can pull it out relatively easily. And that's pretty much the setup, and if I put it down, I don't think you notice much printing at all. So for me it works out every day. 
Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next one.